I introduced you guys to this onion recipe a few months back when I did my French onion melt video. That was just an outstanding sandwich and I'll put a iCard link up here for you to check that out if you want. But I've had so many people messaging me wanting my French onion recipe since then. And on that day, I didn't use them for soup. I just used them for like a, a cheesy onion covering for this melt that I made, a smash burger melt out on the griddle. But today we're just gonna do a French onion soup recipe. We're gonna start by getting these onions exactly how we want them overnight in the slow cooker. So I have here about Mm, three and a half pounds of onions. This is a mixture of sweet onion and yellow onion. There's a big debate when you do French onion that people don't want you to use sweet onions, they want you to use yellow onion, they think the results are bad, but I'll be honest, I've used all kinds of onions. It's always turned out really good, but I do use a mixture. I like that sweetness from the sweet onion and the yellow onion may, it might actually absorb this stuff a little bit better, but I like to use a mixture. So these are about half and half, but you can feel free to use any onion you want. And about three and a half pounds is what I have here. So we're gonna start putting this stuff in the slow cooker and I'll tell you exactly what we have one by one. And don't worry, I'll have all the details and exact amounts down in the description. Let's do it. Okay, so what I have here is some olive oil cooking spray. We're just gonna spray this with some nonstick before we put these ingredients in. Now this huge pile of onions. You know, when I was cutting these up, and by the way, if I didn't mention it, I just basically went ahead, cut these in half and half again, and then I quartered them. They're not all gonna be the same size, because for whatever reason, I get real teary-eyed and emotional when I cut onions. And today was no different, it happened again. Now this may look like a lot of onions, but they are going to cook down, they're going to shrink, and that's gonna give us plenty of room to add broth tomorrow morning let this go for a couple more hours and then make our French onion soup. So onions are in, let's get the rest of this stuff in. Next thing is about three quarters of a cup of olive oil. And again, I'll have all the exact amounts down in the description. We've got here some Worcester sauce. I like to add a real steakhouse flavor to my French onion, which is why we're also adding some steak sauce here, and this is A1, but you can use any steak sauce you like. Whatever your favorite is, go ahead and go with that. Now for some extra saltiness, I have one tablespoon, about one tablespoon of soy sauce. And again, I'll put all the exact amounts down in the description. Lots of chopped garlic. Got some brown sugar. It's gonna help give us that sweetness, and it's gonna help to make a real nice caramelized color on these onions. Some black pepper, I love black pepper. We're gonna go with a lot of that. And we've got a half stick of butter. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this a little bit, get this mixed up. Now because we're doing this overnight, you know, this can go six, eight, 10, 12 hours, whatever it is, the longer the better. I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid to this just to keep everything steaming and getting everything reducing and make sure we don't dry up. So I've got some beef broth here. And you can add as much as you want. I like to get it to where I can just start seeing it coming up through the onions. So you can see it's right there. That's exactly where I want it. I'm gonna give this another mix. Now we're gonna set this slow cooker to low. Now we cover it up. We go to bed, we get some good rest. Again, we have this set on low so it's safe. We're gonna wake up in the morning, we're gonna have some beautiful onions, we'll add some broth, we'll adjust flavorings if we need to, and I'll use my special mug that I bought just for this video to make this beautiful French onion soup. I'll see you guys in the morning. And I forgot the bay leaves, there they are. Okay, now it's time to say goodnight. All right, it's the next morning. These onions are magnificent. Let me show you. They've taken on great color. They're very soft. The aroma in the house all night long was, well, made it pretty hard to sleep. Let's just put it that way. So what we're gonna do now is take these bay leaves out and we're gonna add some broth to top this off and we're gonna let it go a couple more hours before we finish up. All right, it took me a minute to find those bay leaves. So they're out. Now we're just gonna go ahead and fill this up with broth. For those that are wondering, I'm just using Meyers brand beef broth, but you can use any beef broth that you like. This is just one that we usually find on sale and it tastes good. Now we'll just give this a little mix. Look at the beautiful color on these onions. All 
All right, cover it back up, give it a couple hours, then we'll go ahead and put this in this false craft mug that I bought, get the cheese melted, present it, taste it, and be done. A Couple more hours has gone by, this soup is ready to serve. We're gonna go ahead and do this the right way, French onion style. Just look at how beautiful those onions are, just full of flavor. And to this top, I'm gonna add some croutons. These are just store-bought, but you're certainly welcome to make your own if you'd like. Let's just get those in there, let those start soaking up some of that goodness. We're gonna to top that with some provolone cheese. Now when it comes to French onion, there are so many different cheeses that people use. They're gonna use Gruyere, they're gonna use Swiss, they're gonna use provolone or mozzarella. I really like the combination of provolone and mozzarella. So I have a slice of provolone on top and I'm gonna add a little bit of some shredded mozzarella on top of that. And now we're gonna put this in the oven just for a few minutes under the broiler to get this melted down. I'll bring you back as soon as that's done. Okay, that's out of the broiler. Now. I'm just gonna go ahead and garnish this with a little bit of parsley. All right, that's it, it's time for a taste test. I can't wait to dig into this. This looks just like a restaurant. Cheese melting down the sides, a little bit of burning on top from that broiler, and I'm really excited about digging into this. So let's do it. It's just like the restaurant, soup coming out of the top when you're trying to dig in. There we go. All right, I'm gonna do a couple of these. Here's number one, cheers. That broth is so savory. I can taste that charring on top of the cheese. The croutons obviously go perfect with this. And you know, I love cheese. Everybody that watches me know that. Let me go ahead and dig in here again and get some of this onion out of here. All right, here we go. We got some cheese, we got some broth, some onion, some crouton. Let's dig into this one. Mmm, hot. One more, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is crazy good. All right, cheers. Man, that is good. Glorious, absolutely glorious. There's some sweet, there's some savory. I can taste everything that we put in here. Even that little bit of steakhouse twist with the steak sauce, the Worcestershire, I get all of it. The onions are just packed with that flavor. All right, we nailed this. I hope you guys will give it a try at home. If there's something you would like to add to this recipe, feel free. Something you'd like to take out, feel free. The important thing is make it yours, make it how you like it. Till next time, I'll see you on the next video.